I've been in love before. I've been broken before. I've built sand castles just to watch the tide roll in. I've written poems in river water and butterfly wings just to watch them open ocean hurricane away from me. I have kissed a girl for too long trying to make a moment last that deserved rest. I've missed the forest fire for the trees. I've been in love. I've been broken and I am okay. Which is not so much to say tis better to have loved as it is to say tis probably should have just like liked and gotten out of there and like liked a couple more people instead, but I guess I'll live. Which isn't to say that love is bad, just that it's not always the best option, just that sometimes love is the guac when I mean, you didn't really have the money to get Chipotle in the first place and you really want it, and you think that this guac would make your life so much better, but your maturity and affection and mental stability bank accounts are running really low. And sometimes we get the guac even when we can't afford it. And even though it tastes delicious, the next check bounces. Sometimes we get the guac before we even know our accounts are a thing. And boom, your credit's destroyed, and you didn't even realize you're making payments in the first place. Or you're standing on a bridge, staring at the cherry blossom, drifting itself into Potomac, wishing you were a cherry blossom, or at least not the thing that you are right now, which is not to disparage the guac. <laughs> Because the guac is and always will be delicious. It's just that you don't always need it. Sometimes you just need the burrito. Both kinds of rice, both kinds of beans, steak, spice, salsa, cheese, sour cream, lettuce to go, please, thanks. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just need someone to hold your hand and remind you you're beautiful and worth someone thinking you're worth something. Sometimes that's the better option, and I know. The phrase in question is not about Alfred's high school girlfriend. It's about his best friend. My high school girlfriend was my best friend. And I ordered the guac before I even got past the salsa. And I don't regret it, because how can you regret something that tastes so good? But I do sometimes wish I'd saved what I spent. Saved it for something with a little more permanence. Because truth be told, I don't even really like Chipotle that much in the first place. <laughs> and that guac could have been anything. That guac could have been a trip back to Texas. That guac could have been a down payment on a house I haven't even seen yet. I could have avoided a year of bounce checks and bridge edges. That guac could have been something permanent, but it wasn't. Instead, it was simply lovely, simply delicious for a moment. And that is okay, and I am okay, I am okay.